Periwinkle. Its name comes from the lesser periwinkle or myrtle herb, Vinica minor, which has flowers of the same color. Periwinkle is in the indigo family and is shaded somewhere between blue and violet. To the naked eye, it appears pale blue with hints of lavender throughout. In Old English churches, lavender-hued periwinkles were used to symbolize the Virgin Mary. The word periwinkle was first used to describe a specific color around 1922. A subset of violet, which is a subset of purple, periwinkle denotes a precise shade that appears somewhat brighter than lavender, bluer than lilac, clearer than mauve, and dimmer than amethyst. According to the scholar David Scott Castan, shades of violet exist within their own special category. Violet seems to differ from purple in whatever language, not so much as a different shade of color, but as something more luminous. Perhaps a purple lit from within. Violet is the shimmering, fugitive color of the sky at sunset. Purple, the assertive, substantial color of imperial robes. The plants can be poisonous when ingested due to naturally occurring toxic alkaloids. The flowers were used for their astringent and tonic properties in early medicine. There are other names for periwinkle. For example, the French phrase poule de roche means rock dove. The moniker was for the blue resembling the color of a dove's feathers. The plant goes by other names as well, like the devil's eye, joy on the ground, sorcerer's violet, flower of immortality, and death's flower. The plant is known as death flower because it often grew in cemeteries. They were grown as bedding flowers as an ornamental plant for a damaged or missing marker. In Italy and England, the flowers were woven into hair bands for children's funerals. In medieval England, the flowers were made into garland for condemned men sent to the gallows for execution. In witchcraft practices, periwinkle flowers are said to banish negative energy and restore mental clarity. Periwinkle allegedly protects people against evil spirits, the devil, demons, and necromantic magic. Periwinkle was also used to make charms and love potions. In Welsh folklore, if you pluck the periwinkle flower from a grave, it will bring you bad luck and have you haunted by the grave's owner. The flower is also sometimes associated with marriage and may have been the something blue in the traditional wedding rhyme. Pantone, known for their universal color mat system, has just announced the 2022 color of the year as Very Peri. According to their press release, it is a new Pantone color whose courageous presence encourages personal inventiveness and creativity. Very Peri is a symbol of the global zeitgeist of the moment and the transition we are going through. As we emerge from an intense period of isolation, our notions and standards are changing and our physical and digital lives have merged in new ways. Today, Periwinkle's muted hue invokes feelings of serenity, optimism, and lightheartedness.